A pump station in Imperial Beach recently failed, spilling thousands of gallons of sewage onto a street. Tonight, the mayor of Imperial Beach is calling on the governor to declare a state of emergency. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jesse Pagan. This happened along Hollister Road. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez talked with the city's mayor tonight and with people living nearby who say they feel they just can't catch a break. Tonight, we can still see some traces of where the spill happened. Officials say pumps here at Hollister Pump Station failed, causing about 20,000 gallons of sewage to spill. Here's a look at the spill that covered Hollister Street yesterday. It's just a few hundred feet from equestrian centers and where you'll find families spending time outside. There's always things happening here in the South Bay. Smells, the Imperial Beach, the sewer problem we have. Francisco has lived in the South Bay all his life. He's hoping more will be done to prevent future issues. If this will be happening in La Jolla. I bet you they will be doing something about it, but we have it right here. Sewage runoff has caused the south side of Imperial Beach to be closed more than 600 days in a row. The sewage is everywhere and it's I cannot emphasize that enough. IB Mayor Paloma Aguirre says overall more than $400 million is needed to repair and replace the infrastructure and prevent further sewage pollution from Mexico. She's calling on Governor Gavin Newsom to take action. We are in a state of emergency. It's in our air, it's in our coastal waters, it's in our parks where that pump station broke. That's at the entrance of Waterfield State Park. That is a state park. We need our state governor to declare a state of emergency. She says the spills can contain industrial or chemical runoff because Tijuana uses a combined stormwater and sewage system. I've heard people in my community say they're, they're enraged and rightfully so. Uh, the frustration is sometimes overwhelming every day. Every day I tweet at the governor, I send emails, we're sending letters. The failed pumps at Hollister Street Pump Station will be repaired or replaced, but there's not a timeline for when that might happen. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.